when she was born, uh, she just kind of like shifted everything for me. It was like, I'm done kind of doing things the way that I've been doing with this thought process that I like, I'm going to live forever and I could just do what I want when I want and focus on work and all the things. I just wasn't really living a life that had good rhythm to it. And from the time she was born until she was about three, so about a year, year and a half ago, she's about four and a half now, time she was about three, I completely neglected my health and my fitness, mostly fitness on every level. I was, ch I had changed the way that I ate. I ate a lot better than I did previous years. No, not really as much junk food, but I hadn't worked out in years, like three, you know, three solid years. And, um, I was just kind of at this place where I didn't realize how much of a difference it had made in me and how weak and small and like just low energy and just like my zeal and excitement and vigor and passion and drive for life was like 10% of what it was in my 20s, you know, especially in my early 20s. And I didn't even realize it. It's just like this very small, it's like the compound effect, right? Mm -hmm. The compound effect works in the opposite direction too, right? 1% worse per day. I got 1% worse per day for three years. And I didn't realize until I got to that point where I was like, it was like a wake up call. And I can't even tell you exactly what that was. I think it had something to do with my, my marriage or my relationship or something, something happened in my life. And during that season, I was praying, I spent some time one on one, and I hadn't for a while with the Lord. And I was like, what is it that you need for me? What is it that I'm supposed to be doing that I'm not doing now? And he told me that he wanted me to transform my external person, like my figure, my, who I am. He wanted me to transform that to match who I am on the inside, the mm. strength, the size, the, the, the warrior that I am in my heart and in the grit that I have and everything that I've been through. I needed to show that externally to people. And I don't think it's about vanity or ego. There's, there's a different purpose and mission. And I'm not asking Lord what that is, but it gave me my life back when I made agreement with that. I was like, okay, the Lord's telling me I do, I need to do this and make this a priority. I'm going to do this. And so I started working out on my own. And then my business partner came to town last August and he, I started working out with him and got some kind of got into a rhythm and I started eating protein shakes. And then I was like, it's time to take the next step. And I hired a fitness trainer and paid him for an entire year up front. Wow. Up front. And I knew that that was going to be really helpful. And I went hard with him for about a month. And then I think I just, I don't remember what happened. I think, oh, my knee, I had a knee injury oh. and I kind of took two months off. And then I started to feel myself again going, oh, like I'm just feeling like I'm not feeling that fire for life like I was like when I'm working out and I, I walk different, I talk different, like it's connected to my confidence in a big way. When I can knock out 100 pushups, right, or 50 pushups at a time, like I already feel like I won the day just doing that alone without even closing a single business deal or meeting a new person or having anything successful on the business side. Like just doing those pushups every day just puts my mind in a completely different place and gives me like makes me feel strong and, and confident. So I got back on that again and I send my, my trainer a, a, a green check every single day. And I try to get three a day and majority of days, you know, I'll keep it real. Like more majority of days, I don't get three done. I get one, sometimes two but I'm working up to that. It's progress over perfection and making my health and my fitness a priority and transforming the way I look on the outside to match how I am on the inside. That's, a, that's something that the Lord asked me to, to do and how dare I not go after that and make that a priority in my life. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's amazing, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy for that uh, growth in health and fitness and making that transformation. Yeah. You're totally right. It's like, if you don't work out for one day, you know, um, you, you don't notice it. And then, and then that's kind of like your new norm, right? Your body adapted to that lower level of Actually, being physical yeah. being. Yep. And then if you skip another day, it like adapts to that. And then it gets to the point where you like neglect it so much and you're not really noticing it. And then boom, something like catastrophic happens in your body to where it's like a wake up call. It's like, oh shoot, I shouldn't have been neglecting my health for this long. And so, um, and so, yeah, that's huge. You know, it's like people, uh, I feel like we take our health for granted, you know, it's like, there's some people that can't even you know, do certain things because, um, because of they're, they're just not able to physically. And so, um, 
Yeah, I've been doing, I've been, you know, working out close, going close to 10 years now. It's been crazy. Wow. And it's definitely been, you know, ups and downs. Like there's some months where I kind of don't go for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Um, but pretty, you know, I've been pretty consistent the past 10 years. And it's gotten wow. to the point where like, for me, it's, it's just fun. You yeah. know, it's like, it's just fun to exercise now. Like if I, if I don't, it's like the Netflix for me, <laughs> you know? Oh, what's that? That's huge. I said, I love that. That's huge. See, and that's what I've been telling myself every day is like, oh, I have to work out today. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I still have to work out. I've, I'm done with that. That doesn't work for me. That mentality and where I'm operating from, it doesn't work for me anymore. I've rejected that. And I'm like, I get to work out today. Right. I love exactly. working out. I get mm-hmm. to work out today. I love working out. I've been telling myself that multiple times a day because the reality is, is working out is painful. It's a struggle. It's uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. It, there's recovery. There's all the other things that go along with it and protein and BCAAs. And like, it's, mm-hmm. it's a lot of work. Like it, it requires a certain amount of your time. And I just felt like for many years, I didn't have that time to give to it. Mm-hmm. And I would have been kicking myself 10 years from now when I'm freaking, you know, diabetic and all the other stuff that I could possibly be because I neglected it for so many years and I didn't make it a priority. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely huge. Making a priority. That's kind of how I prioritize health. It's like, I see health as like, if I'm not healthy and I get sick or I get, you know, there's something really bad that happens to me, then I can't be there for my family. I can't be there for my kids. I can't be there for my business. I can't be there for other people. And it's like, that's, that should be one of the top, top priorities, you know, it's your health. And then everything else kind of comes afterwards. So um, part of your foundation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's where my foundation was, was, was weak. And like how confident of a man or a person can you be as if you're like, I want to be in good shape and I want to get, and I want to get ripped or I want to, and then you don't do anything on that. Right. Mm-hmm. You don't honor the words and the commitments that you make to yourself that that's going to trickle out from there to everything that you do in your life. It's going to take away from your confidence. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you watch the full episode here. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you click on the subscribe button. I really appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next video.